Blessings upon everybody listening. Many blessings upon you. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Ain't Got a Clue. You know that rhymes as well. Yeah. God. I'm well, Marcus like, Fronzy. I'm K Kurt. It's how we're in sync without even realizing that. Do you know what? I've yeah. been, you know, because I watched back the episodes, innit? Yeah. Right? Like a sado, innit? No, I'm joking. We do it because we have to edit and stuff, <laughs> innit? Right? We're, not, we're not doing it because we like the sound of our own voices. But like, blah, 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 there's, welcome there's, to Ain't Got a Clue. There's certain things that clue. happen, and I'm like, Raw, like we don't even plan that, and that, and then I'm like, are we spending too much time together? I think so. You know what? I realized, Kay, we spend a solid two hours face to face having conversation every week. Name me another person that you do that with every single week, and you've done that for a year. Two hours face to face. Don't know, man. Bruv. It's a relationship. You know no, that, no, bruv. No idea. Yeah, yeah it's, it it's, it's it's mad, like yeah. So there you go. That's that's what maybe that's why stuff's happening. Yeah. Before maybe we carry on, we do have a Patreon. Yes, we do. We got a Patreon. Um, Patreon be popping, man. But we yeah, exactly. We do have a Patreon. Um, and for a cost of a coffee, you can get this episode early, ad free, mm. as well as a bonus episode every week yep. that's specifically for Patreon members. A little bit more unfiltered as well, to say the least. Yeah. Little yeah. Bit, yeah. Little yeah. Bit more. Yeah. More. So come over there, join basically, the community. Basically, we swear a lot more in it. Yeah, yeah. The community's cool over there. I'm loving it. I'm loving the way it's growing. I feel like us and the patron are going to do big things this year. You, the listener, are a family. Don't get it twisted. But the patron gang, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's popping over there. Yeah. I like it. Come on, man. I like uh, it. It's growing. Um, we're nearly hitting a milestone. So uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're listening to this and you're deliberating, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're, so we're, we're gonna do we're even more hitting, content. Yeah, we're yeah, close yeah, to hitting yeah. a milestone. So there you go. Come on, come on, come on. Anyway, uh, we're recording on a different day, so everything's just sort of out of sync, in it. It's mad. Like it I was, feels a bit tricky, isn't it? Feels it? weird, innit? it? But we are here. Yeah. Uh, we are here. Um, I gigged in a brewery last night. So tell me about it. where where with Ori Styler in Walthamstow. What was the name of the brewery? So I don't understand this yet. You see, gentrifiers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why do you like okay so firstly why do you want to go to a brewery why don't you just go to a normal pub to do um a gig no just to have fun do you want to know the real reason why why beer costs money because it has to travel if you go to the source it's logically cheaper. logically All right, you should okay, have cheaper but, but beer. this thing was in like this this brewery was on like an industrial estate Heavy. in walthamstow yes right so I was looking, you know, when I was looking at like, oh, how am I going to get there? Yeah. Mm. I was like, I could get the Victoria line from Brixton to Walthamstow, Walthamstow Central. Yeah, you could. You could. I yeah. could do that. Yeah? yeah. Like a normal person. Right. I looked at it. It said 24 minute walk away from the station. I was like, brother, no chance. 24 minutes of walking. 24 minutes of walking. Like that. And that, that's to get there. Imagine getting back to the station. Mm. That's nearly an hour walking from the station. On to, do you know as a health and fitness man i thought i thought you I'm, might be akin marcus, to this is it because marcus, of, is it because you had a gig in between marcus yeah it is five degrees outside last night yeah. right it was five degrees last night yeah. i'm not walking that long bruv there was no dog in hand yeah my dog wasn't with me yeah. i'll walk with my dog right was it what you would say this is what i find funny as well i've been noticing this about cold weather because it's so common over here like british people have found a way to talk about cold weather like it's like it's a nice thing so they go it's a bit you know crispy outside yeah. isn't it very fresh it's a bit chilly a bit chilly a bit, a bit, chilly. A bit fresh though but the, yeah. the sun's out the yeah, sun's, sun's out, but I'm like, it's four degrees. De our asses off. Four degrees, James. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. anyway, so like, it's on, It's one of them things where it's like, how did you even find out about this place, bruv? Mm. You know, it's like secluded from everything. Like, Perfect. you have... I couldn't even find it. Yeah. yeah? I, they had to send me... Like, the promoter had to send me the live location <laughs> of where they were on WhatsApp, yeah? I couldn't find it, yeah? <laughs> then I go in, bruv. Yeah. Like, as in, like, I've, I found where it is and they've got me a parking space, whatever. And I go in and there's just hundreds of, like, it's about 200 people mm. all in their coats and scarves and hats, bruv, sat down ready for comedy in this cold brewery. It looked like something out of, like, Breaking Bad. Do you know, like, ep that episode where everyone was on a writer strike? It oh, looked the like that where you could just see the barrels yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah? yeah? And I was just like, <laughs> we're in a cost of living crisis, I was bruv. I was going to say, go this is the key, outside, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to, to find some warmth. Yes. Right, you go to like a public space. So you use their heating, innit? Yeah. You know, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. you've gone into some cold ass brewery, right? Why do why do middle class people want to cosplay poor? 
I, this is what I want to know, yeah? Because why is it the shitter you make your place look, the more attractive it is to middle class people? Why is it that you want your chips to come in a hat mm. and your your meat, to, uh, your burger to come on a slab of wood? And why do you want to sit on something like a, like a I don't know, like a uh, like a repurposed bit of um, metal that was going to be put out to scrap. Is this like a massive episode of Scrap Heap Challenge, bruv? Do you remember Scrap Heap Challenge? I do remember Crash, Scrap Heap Challenge, bang, yeah. Wallop. Scrap Heap Challenge is back, 8pm <laughs> on Channel 4. Look at... I, think bro, I don't meant... understand why they're trying to do this, I got bro. the answer, Marcus, okay. I you're eating answer. out of a... They're giving you a drink, <laughs> not these people last night, yeah. but just generally all these gentrified yeah. places, bruv. All this exposed brickwork yeah, and yeah, I'm seeing the it. pipes, yeah. That's you're it. getting into the toilet, there's a flipping copper pipe yeah. exposed and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then they give you something to drink out of, right? And it's this rusty can of, yep. like, whatever. It's like they used to put, like, crude oil in mm -hmm. there or WD-40. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, there you go. Mm. £18.50, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why, Kay. Yeah, I know why. It's, you're right. It's the cost of living crisis. But in any crisis, there's a way to make money. And I do blame exposed brick. That's where it all began because somebody pulled the plaster off the wall and thought, you know what? We'll do one wall in our cafe like that. Looks kind of nice. Lazy to uh, yeah, but really all that stuff is less work because it's more money to plaster a wall. It's more money to hide the pipes. It's more money, yeah, to turn the heating on. But all of these things, if you angle it right, you make it into like a, oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's a little bit different. Bro, People buy into it. Everybody was, um, everybody was freezing last night, bruv. They were just, I, they, I've, they, gone to a, I've gone to a gig. They will remain nameless. I've gone to a gig to a TV shoot. At, on TV, this sh was on TV, inside, and it was so cold in there because they and it was so cold, and they made us wait for a little bit as well. I didn't like waiting, and it was so cold. I was in the audience, yeah, that I just went home, bruv. There's no way I'm going to sit inside and experience outside temperatures. Yeah, like you cracked a no joke way. about it. Exactly. I thought like if I walked outside, I might warm up a little bit. Yeah, that's not logical because you're walking. Us as humans have created inside for a reason. It's one of the greatest inventions we've ever made. A caveman, thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago, like carved out a piece of cave and pointed to his wife and went, huh. and you know what 100%. that meant? That meant inside In warmth, security. <laughs> and now, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> what, you know what the maddest thing is, yeah? You yeah. go out, yeah, yeah. To, to experience you know, something... Pleasantries. Yeah, exactly. Like, something that you can't get from inside. Because I severely think that in is underrated, isn't it? What, in in? Staying in is underrated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's underrated. 100%. Underrated, yeah. Staying inside. In, oh. in, in is underrated. Yeah. Um, are, you like, go, are you going out this weekend? No, I'm going in. I'm staying in. I'm staying in. <sighs> yeah, I'm staying. I think the next big thing, right? Mm. If they... Like, I want to watch Creed 3. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. I would love if it if I could pay just a little bit extra mm. and get whatever film is in cinema Ooh. at home. <sighs> Come on. If I could pay, like say for example you go to the cinema, yeah? Mm -hmm. I gotta pay like what? Well, I was looking at prices for 4DX, it's like £30, pound, £35. Pound All right, so sometimes. wait, two people, you're looking at £55 pound for tickets, yeah. like if you're going to like a lesser yeah. square Odeon or Popcorn, whatever. Popcorn, yeah. that's £150 quid now you're up to. <laughs> yeah, you get some round trips through pastels, you're on about four fifty. Yeah, that's and it. And then uh, if you get the nachos, you're looking at, you know, maybe a small deposit on bag a of, flat bag in, of sand, yeah, in, in Liverpool. Yeah, 100%, 100%, yeah, exactly. 100%, 100%. So once you've done that, you're like, okay, if it's £50 pounds for two tickets... Mm. How much are you prepared to spend on a film that's just come out in cinemas, at home, inside? I I would be willing if it was a really high if it's a film that I was really excited about and I knew that it cost that much to watch that day in the cinema. I would want a little bit off because yeah, you're sending it direct to my house and it's convenient, but I'm still paying the electricity. I'm paying for the heating, and I guess popcorn don't come into it. So I would be happy to pay a similar price. Bro, I'm paying fifty pound in it. You pay fifty. I'm Good. paying fifty pound if it means I could have it in my house. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then, then I'm what, bro? You can't go. Like I know there's these posh cinemas in it. You know mm. the posh cinemas where they're like, um, you ordered a burger and chips or whatever, and it comes to your to your little. Um, it's not even a table that's big enough. Like they never, because you're sitting down. Mm in a cinema and their seats and tables are never big enough to actually truly enjoy the burger in it. Never. Like, never. do you see what I've got? They've never. got this little table on the side of it and you're like, you're, you're moving your head upwards mm. to this table, to the side. You're not really enjoying it. Whereas if you're home, yeah? Mm. Flick the lights off, bro. Oof. Oh my gosh, yeah? Something like this. It becomes an experience <laughs> yeah. now. 
Yeah. Why is it se- it's sexier? And there's it nothing is. wrong with that. It's a positive. Do you remember during COVID, right? I don't know if you were the same. Random films were sending me codes where I could just watch it. That's that's what I was gonna say. That was that was one of one of my because I loved a lot of things about lockdown. I hate a lot of things, but I loved them. I love the fact that when we were doing screenings because we couldn't go to a physical cinema, they were sending us codes that would activate at six o'clock on a Thursday so I could look forward to it. Go and cinema. I'm going to watch a premiere tonight. Where are you watching it? At Casa home. the House. <laughs> Casa the Bronze. Yeah. yeah. And then, but basically, oh, sweet. at home, you could order your takeaway. You mm. could have pizza. Mm. You could you could have a curry <sighs> while watching whatever do you want. Can you have a cu- You can't sneak a curry into the Odeon, bruv. No, you'd try, be that. You'd be try all. If you want to go posh to an everyman cinema, yeah, yeah. Try and get yourself a meat feast pizza. It's not happening, bruv. They'll get you a burger and chips, but that's it, bruv. Bruv, you know what it is, yeah. Oh, are we allowed to say we, bruv again? Is this? What yeah, we yeah. Can, yeah, we can. We can. What we've what we've we live in a world, right? Where if you bring smelly food to a cin- an open place, right, a closed, it's not nice, in it. But mm. we all know that some of the some of the tastiest foods, not all of them, are a bit smelly, in it. Like, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? There's yeah. certain things like I like a garlic bread. I can't really be eating a garlic bread in an enclosed space. Bro, but forget all of that as well, though. Yeah, have, have you got like a footstool with yeah. your, with your with your sofa? And yeah. Have you got bare cushions? I've got loads of cushions, bro. Got a little blanket as well. Of course, I have. Got you know, I have got that blanket that's fluffy. You know that one to the touch where you, when you once you start touching it, it's a bit hard to stop have touching you, have it. You, have you? Have you? you start got, rubbing your hand up oh, and down have you it. Got yeah. those, have you got those um, blankets that they have in every like Middle Eastern or Asian family? Which you know, ones? Where, it was, it, where it's like it, you, you see it in those like Asian shops or whatever that you go past, or like there'll be a Middle Eastern shop and it's always like flowers on it, or like you know, like they're like massive blanket. Oh, the mix-up blanket. Yeah, I had like I used to call it a mix-up blanket. I had you know one of those. It's got like or, or like it's got like a picture of a peacock on it. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. It's mad soft on the outside yeah. and, and the inside as well. Anyway, I don't have that at home, but my parents have have. I think they still have that folded that up somewhere. They the, love it. Those, but I did those, treat them to a heated blanket though. They got heated. I, I need there, to get one of those. Yeah, those and a weighted blanket i've heard weighted blankets yeah. are the next big thing any next big thing look at me flipping old ass you've heard yeah. it from kate 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 he said the next big thing is weighted blankets i put that lululemon thing on my story and everyone's yeah. calling it lululemon now by the way yeah. anyway um i'm giving him so much free advertising fuck that now um but um yeah you you've got you've got your little footstool mm. you could be in tracksuit bottoms oh you could just be sitting there lying down with your blanket on <sighs> watching what film do you want to see today? Creed 3, for example. Yeah. And you can watch that from the comfort of your own home, bruv. Oh. I, don't need to go. I, know, I know we should be going out and supporting businesses, yeah? <laughs> but they've got rid of a lot of late night screenings. So I'm Vex. <laughs> Kay's, like, Kay's like, we should be vibing. We should, but um, they've got... Do you know what? I, I used to love going to cinema at like 11... There'd be like 11.45 screening. <laughs> or like 11.30 screening. After COVID, they got rid of all of that. Mm. Uh, can we talk about this actually? We yeah? can continue to talk about it. Can we about talk it, yeah. about this, yeah? Can we abolish the myth that London is a 24 hour city? What do you mean? London is not a 24 hour city. Go on. Yeah. Everybody goes on like London. You know what? Like they say New York's a city that never sleeps. Mm. I love our politicians or whatever go, yeah, London is a 24 hour city. <laughs> London is not a 24 hour city. You try try to find somewhere decent to eat and sit down past ten PM. You're not finding it, bruv. You are not finding it. You'll find a chicken cottage where there is four drunk people and a crackhead with, it, and, and you're fighting for a seat. So you're in a chicken shop with loads of mirrors. So That's what I happen at. to find that twenty four hour London. Like I'm with you in a way, right? It doesn't exist, but in in another way, twenty four hour London does exist. It but doesn't. I'll be, it does exist because I've I've been there, and I'm going to tell you twenty four hour twenty four hour London is not a normal place. No, it's no, no, a no. Sca- it's a sc- it's a scary place. If you go into the if you delve into the depths of twenty four hour London, like I'm going to tell you at four and five a.m wild stuff is going yes, on. Yes, but, but Marcus, that's why it's not it's, a 24-hour city. It's all, because that yeah. wild stuff shouldn't be happening. If it was but, truly a 24-hour yeah. city, you could go, like, and it's casual, it's normal. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, but we're not a 24-hour city. Like, you've got the demons and the vultures coming out at, like, four and five in the <laughs> morning, demons right? And yeah, but, like, there's... N- the reason the reason the normal people don't stay out that late yeah. is because there's nothing to do. We don't even have the 24-hour tube anymore. <laughs> what happened to the night tube? <laughs> COVID came and it got rid of the night shoe, bruv. <laughs> Have you been on a night bus in this in this city? 
Have you been on the night bus? I, I haven't been the on the night. On I night haven't bus? been on the night bus for a long time because again, okay. I've been on the night bus and I've and I, honestly, do you remember the magic school bus? Yeah, yeah, but what was this? Yeah. A night bus. Yeah, yeah, a night bus is very akin to that. It's uh, very similar. Do you know what I feel like? <laughs> I feel like a night bus is a bus is a bit like, and again, I'll put this on any chain of fast food joint as well um, that runs twenty four hours as well. Anything that's twenty four hours, I feel like it's like Stranger Things. You know, the upside down. Yes. I feel yeah. like if you were to st- if you were to like flash between a midday McDonald's, for example, yeah, and then you flashed at to four a.m you would see a totally different place. The floor covered in fries. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Security guards yeah. <laughs> in a fast food joint. Yeah. yeah Somebody like, like headbutt McDonald's. in a touch screen. Like Brixton McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Brixton oh, McDonald's man. is a wild place. Uh, after 10 p.m. you yeah. finish. But, but bro, w- th- London is not a 24 hour city. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> we've got no, we've got, uh, from time you're telling me like there's, there's like Dementors out at like 1 a.m. <laughs> Dementors. There's the mentals out at 1 a.m., right? Clubs are closed at like 2 or 3. Is uh, yeah, for, yeah, you know, you do get some 4 o'clock clubs. Very they ain't been out for a while, bro. Very rarely. Been away. Very when rarely. When you got in the 90s? Very rarely. <laughs> no, but no, after COVID, all of that stuff that you're talking about is finito, bro. Remember, all right, where were Balans in Soho? Balans. Yeah, remember Balans, yeah? Yeah. 24 hour eatery, yeah? You could go there 24 hours, get mm. yourself a steak and chips, bro. Yeah. I went there a couple months ago, a few months ago, a bit late. They were like, sorry, shuts at 10. What? Excuse me? Yeah. This was the only place I knew, bro. Gone are the days the of people pla- showing off that they went to a little Balans, yet yeah, me, while well, I'm having my freaking uh, McMuffin at three in the morning, five in the morning. Yeah, but I was like, I like proper food, right? And I'm yeah. like, what the hell? What's happened? Mm. We need to. We we call ourselves a big city, yeah. Mm. We are, we are a twelve hour city at best. <laughs> Sixty, all right, sixteen. Sorry, at best. Do you know what? Though, okay, you we're say- a fake twenty four hour city. We're wearing fake Gucci in the club, and we're 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 we're, 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 we're tucking stunning. in our coat underneath so people can see it. London is finished. London is finished. We're done, bruv. You can't even do anything nice in this city anymore. Nothing works. It's all inefficient. <laughs> Everyone's getting robbed left, right, and set. If you have got nice things, also anybody that owns a Range Rover, you are a better man than me. Not because of the fact that you can own a Range Rover, yeah. but what? Wh- if you own a Range Rover, you are basically uh, it is you're you're basically asking for high blood pressure, the risk of diabetes, mental health stress, because you could get it nicked at any point. Bro, driving a Range Rover was probably one of the most stressful experiences of my life, bro. It was. It was stressful. Dev, Dev, Dev experienced some of it, bro. It is. Well, remember Dylan, who was yeah, on our show. He got yeah. his. He, when he told us, he yeah. got his Range Rover nicked outside his house. He should thank them. They helped him out. <laughs> they helped him out. They, they took. Do you know what? And his reaction should, should say a lot because Dylan's reaction was, you know what? Things like this happen. Something might tell me that if it was maybe a Porsche four x four, maybe one an electric car, he'd be feeling a different way. But yeah. really, he knew. We knew deep down. We now know deep down. He was relieved. Why? Yeah. But why would you? If you look at like the top cars that get stolen, mm. it's like Range Rover Velar, Range Rover Evoque. Mm. It's not. It's just all variations of Range Rover. Mm, yeah, mm, mm. they're all getting stolen. Yeah. What then possesses you to get that? You are either you either have more money than sense, mm-hmm. or you just like living on the edge in it. You just like that. Unless I have um, a, a garage with a Faraday cage built into it. If you don't know what a Faraday cage is, Google that, right? With a Faraday cage built into it. Yeah. There is no way I'm buying one of those things, yeah? Okay. Anyway, everything's getting stolen in London. People are getting shanked left, right, and centre. Our, our hospitals are crap. Now, hey, is, everything's is done. everything all right, bro? Let, let me tell you, I'm just disappointed with this country. What's happened? What's I'll, triggered this? Because you've come in here today. We Great Britain, yeah. and every year... I'm finding less reasons to be less less proud of this country. What tr- can I just ask, Kay? What's triggered it today? You've come in here today and you've just gone in. Roadworks. You've got- <laughs> roadworks. There we go. Every few days. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, <laughs> I'm convinced councils just love money laundering and they do it with roadworks, right? Because why is the same road getting getting? Why are you going into that same place seventeen times in a year? Mm. Seventeen times, a year. and also. Can I just say, yeah, I'm sick and tired of these stri- safe streets next to schools. You know when they like say, oh, you're not allowed to travel down this road in a car between the hours of this hour and that hour. Have you got, have and you got hit hour. with a couple of tickets? I, I have. 
I have, and you know what? Just, yeah, just to be clear, in the words of just, Michael just to Jordan, be clear, because yeah, kids. just to be clear, that in some areas they've put up these signs that look like normal. You can only park, you know, before or after uh, before nine a.m. or after five, and if you have got unless you've got a permit, they've changed those to if you drive down this street between the hour of eight thirty a.m. and nine thirty a.m. or three to four, aka school pickup hours. Yes, you will now get a and full you know, parking and you fine. Know who it, who it affects the most? Go on, the parents. Yep, because that road now. Because they can't go on it, they it block up the other, other roads. roads. Yeah, it makes no logical sense. Because I've no, I've I, and and at risk of us just sounding like two old men arguing and 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 complaining, I've thought about that as well. Because I'm like, if you don't, if you can't park on road A, you're just gonna park on road B, and if you but can't you park see, on road B, so you're gonna park on the next road, road parallel my house. Yeah, yeah, where they've blocked that off, like mm -hmm. it's a stretch of road that they blocked off, mm -hmm. and now everywhere else is blocked up to the point where it causes traffic mm. well like like through all the surrounding areas and it, it becomes like a car pile up and you can't and can't I, get anywhere i get it people want kids to be safe leaving school and stuff but but if you just move, if you move the traffic one road over how many of those kids really live on that one road and are going to feel safer yes yeah, so I'm, I'm with you i'm 100 it's, it's all the parents that are driving there anyway yeah yeah, yeah. so you're just uh, like, and, anyway. and just moving the show yeah i get it and, and then, like, so I now get, we've got now to the bottom i get a flipping ticket yeah. and whatever but anyway roadworks i anyway like yeah there's just so much. have you seen a new money laundering trick as well by the way now it's a, have you got uh, before we move forward i just want to double check Kay, like because there's a lot of stress that's come out of you right now i just want to yeah. double check are you okay I'll, I'll be honest with you yeah the reason i started this podcast with you yeah mm -hmm. is because i got sick of paying for therapy in it yeah okay cool i didn't i didn't realize that, that <laughs> i'm gonna change my instagram bio now <laughs> therapist <laughs> I wonder also, if I could get therapy, a qualification. Therapy is a, a therapy's fraud as well. Wow, you just you are going in. I'm saying you were kicking everything in the balls today. Yes, you're not yes. messing around. I, I think I think yeah, I think therapy. Well, but people say half the battle is finding the right therapist, right? Mm. <laughs> but how do you know whether you found the right therapist? Because you've still got to pay like sixty, seventy pound a session. Whatever it is. Do you know what? I spoke to a good friend of mine the other day, right? Is she a therapist? No. And they said, I think I want to start therapy. Okay. Why? And I went, that's what I said. I said, why? And they went, I've been feeling a bit down. Okay. And I was like, cool. Why do you think that is? And we spoke about it a little bit. And then after they spoke to me, they said they feel a little bit better. And a couple of days later, they're like, do you know what? Don't need therapy. I think I was just having a little bit of a downtime. There could you it go. Be, and this is my friend saying, said, could have just been like, bit of hormones could have been this that some other things that are gone and they shared all that with me and i was like do you know what cool i'm here to talk do you still think you need therapy and they were like nah and i was like do you know what it's okay to be down because you can't be up all the time in it yeah, yeah, but if yeah. you're down sometimes you just have I'm not, and this is not me taking it? away from people that seriously need therapy and stuff like that, cool whatever but i'm like sometimes you can just feel a bit shit in it and we've all had it in it like uh, yeah, you've had yeah. downtime i'm having a great time at the moment but i've had downtimes but i realize if i don't have any shit I tried times it. I tried it. How was it? Oh, your therapist fell asleep, innit? <laughs> yeah. Great name for it. That's a great name for a podcast. I know there's yeah. my therapist ghosted me, but yeah. you could have K with my, my therapist fell asleep yeah, on me. So, so um, <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? He, he um, um, Carl? Off. I mean, K. Yeah, he dozed <laughs> off. But that was that's another thing. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that because nah, that's but, fucked up. But let me tell you, yeah. Let me tell you, yeah. I was like, I think I was like, so my therapist was cheaper than a lot of people's, right? <laughs> I think my did therapist it, was like and 50 did that, quid. Did the cheapness manifest itself in any way during the treatment that you had? <laughs> no, he was a cool guy, man. But I'm, I'm Yeah, really saying, cool. Yeah. He was like no, chilled. No, he was a nice guy. But then, yeah, very chilled. I think he was just tired. He was working like two jobs and that. Like, I think therapy was his side thing. For fuck's sake, this gets worse and worse. He got up. <laughs> I don't know if I saw a therapist or... No, no, anyway. He fucking... Counselor, You were whatever. talking about a new money laundering in front. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, cool. But anyway, therapy, yeah. Yeah, I found the money that you that I spent through on therapy mm. when I just started spending it on like activities. Yeah, suddenly I was a happy person. Nice. Do you see what I'm coming from, nice. right? So like, I remember Darren Harriet who does that podcast with Ishan Akbar. Fantastic. It was teeth. funny because he. Was, I need to see those teeth in real life. Oh, are, yeah, are they like that in real they're life? Great, they're great. He was talking about on his podcast that yeah. that like he spent the money on therapy for like dance lessons and stuff. Okay. And I, and I was like, oh my god, I did the same thing not on dance lessons, mm. but like on different things where I was like, I'll just take this money and I'll go to a nice restaurant. I'll go to this, I'll do that, I'll do that. And you know what? Ended up happier because instead of going, I haven't done anything this week, I'm just like really depressing. You start doing things and you're like, oh, 
I wasn't mm. depressed. <laughs> I was just at home with my demons too much. Yeah, man. I think, yeah, I think sometimes we need a little something to look forward to, you know. And I think for me, part of like what is 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 helping me stay motivated is I'm I'm putting little things in to look forward to. Like some people are like holiday, holiday. I'm like, yeah, you can put holiday in to look forward to. Like you, you know, you need small things as well, though, innit? it? Yeah, like by the time this comes out, you'll be back, but you're gonna spend a couple of days away, away on holiday. Yeah, yeah. Something to look forward to, innit? it? It's yeah, nice, yeah. bit of sun, relax a yeah, little and bit. I, and did I not time that well? Yeah. There's, there's warnings of snow yeah. and frost I might be out on the roads. You. Yeah, I might, you might hear a little knock on your door. Hello, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I work on it, but like, li listen, man, you need to like, I think the best thing for your mental health is not, I don't think therapy works for everybody in it, right? You know, there are these like therapy, like ambassadors, right? Yeah. They do one therapy session and they're like, oh my God, it saved yeah. my life. Yeah. And it was absolutely yeah. amazing. Some of us, it might not work for, I tried therapy with like two different therapists, never at different stages of my life, didn't work for me in it, right? I find... I like doing things, being active, and then I'm like, oh, endorphins, serotonin, all of that stuff. I don't want to sit in for an hour and like cry about certain things, right? Um, and I don't think it works for everybody, but I think it's important to have things to look forward to, like you said. Yeah, man. Like, just, just small things as well, though. You know there's that book by Julia Cameron, The Artist's Way? No, I've, I've not heard of it, but crack on, yeah, mate. Yeah, there's a book on. called um, The Artist's Way by mm. Julia Cameron. Now, it's really funny because... Um, it talks about a lot of things like you should write a page of A4, three pages of A4 every morning, just like write whatever's coming out of your thoughts or whatever. Okay. Start writing that, blah, 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 blah. But it was one thing that it said, it said, take yourself on a date every week by yourself. Take yourself on a date. What, right, do that, what, 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 what would an example of taking yourself on a date be? Go to the cinema. Go to go for a go for a meal. I at a love restaurant. going cinema by myself. Yeah, 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 it is it is a treat upon treat. I okay, I got into that about ten years ago. Yes, I did it when I was getting into radio. It was something to talk about because I was like young and I was like, I don't want to do something zany before I go on the BBC Radio and Extra. I'll go cinema by myself. Something to talk about on breakfast like that. Yeah, and I did it, and it was it was weird. I'll be honest with you. The first time I did it, I felt paranoid. I didn't, but. I, it was the first time I ever did I, it. So I, I went up yeah. to the thing and I bought a ticket. I was like, one ticket for thing. And then the person went, just one. Like, and I was like, yeah. yeah and, and I was like, cool. And I went over and I was just wait, like, wait, 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 one popcorn. You, what do you mean j just one? Mm, mm, that's big, what threw me. What Big man, what do you mean just yeah. one, right? What what time is what time is does your shift end? Oh, at one, just one. Like, <laughs> bro, do you know what, yeah? <laughs> I why don't you just get me my ticket <laughs> yeah. and just give me my receipt yeah. and just what, shut the what, fuck yeah, up exactly yeah. exactly yeah. what do you mean just one yeah. bruv right what, what what is this is this your only job oh what just one yeah, yeah, right, yeah. What, is, you just work in a cinema do you well i'm just gonna relax while you're just working how about that no but um so i, I did that threw me a little bit and then i sat down and I, what did I, oh, I can't remember what I watched. It doesn't matter. It's inconsequential. I went for a period but of watching so many shit films. Cause I, oh, so, so do you know what I used to do, right? So this is, I've, I've got further along in my career now, right? So how it works in comedy is when you first start out at comedy clubs, they put you on in the middle, right? As mm -hmm. an open spot, right? Mm -hmm. So you might do a 10 minutes as an open spot. They put you in the middle. The idea is the better act, what like the best act goes at the end. Mm -hmm. Another the, like the the another yeah. strong act goes at the beginning. Hold tight. And okay, he's gonna be gassing himself, guys. Watch this. Check this. Check no, how he no, lands no, this. No, Come no, on, Gay. No, that's all right. No. I'll shut up. And they put someone at the, and they put someone that's maybe newer, mm -hmm. or they might get someone like that's not quite at the level of those two. Yeah. In the middle, right? Yeah. And then you get someone that's a host that's very competent to. Mm -hmm. like, so I there was a period in my life where I was the open act, yeah. right? So sorry, uh, where we start uh, opening the show, not like the middle act, the open act. Very brief period. Continue. No, 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 no. It, it, <laughs> but a couple of days at least, max. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was a few years, isn't it? And do you know how fun it was because I'd be done by eight thirty, and that point, like mm. I wasn't that in demand where I'd be doing like two or three gigs a night or whatever. Yeah, so, not that now. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's just natural in it everybody's career progression right there's lots of comics i know that do like two or three gigs a night on a friday or a saturday but anyway i would go i'd, I'd finish my gig and it'd be like eight i like i'd gone on at um 10 past eight mm. by 8 30 i was done mm. right i might have another gig somewhere else right mm. as a middle spot whatever mm. yeah max done by nine right Nine thirty. So then I'm like, 
I've got all this energy. What do I do? A lot of my friends are already out and stuff. And I'm like, you don't really want to go to somewhere when, when your friends are al already out. I think a lot of the time, you know, they've already been drinking or whatever. And you're mm. like, I don't, I don't drink. I don't really want to. I love turning up late like that. I Do love you. you. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't think know. about it. They're all vibing. That if, if it's good, you get into the club. Yeah, you're solo. So you haven't got to worry about anyone like being late or on time, whatever. You go up to the door. Yeah, I'm just joining X table. Yeah, cool. Because I'm, you know, I'm the guy that's coming late. Oh, yeah, Security yeah. let you off, whatever. You roll through the parties, pop in. Everything's going on. A tune. You wait till a tune comes on. Obviously, a big tune comes on, like, or the next big tune comes on, and that's when you cut, step onto the area that the people are raving. And is, your mates turn around and go, but the thing is, and then you're, you're vibing. Really dressed to go out. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. I, I used to be the master at little, like, get a little remix, put a remix in the boot of the car. Or, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, like, like, you weren't really dressed to go out in it, so right. you're dressed for work, for comedy. Kind of yeah, yeah, for comedy. Like, because as as well as another thing, as a comedian. It just sort of looks weird when you're dressed to the nines mm. on stage. Like if I went out dr to perform dressed like I'm ready to rave, like with a blazer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look at me like... Are the, are the days gone of comedians wearing suits and also like, are the days gone of a co comedian looking really cool? I think like British comedy is like, there's like... I think when it's a tour show, you can you can sort of like... Dress, dress up. what you want, yeah. Because it's, 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 it's your tour show, they come to see you, whatever. But when you're just doing a random comedy club, I don't think people want to see you in a, it, like, full, you know I mean? full dress, nine piece yeah. suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, so I would go, I was like, what would I do now? I didn't want to turn up, like, sometimes they'd be at dinner, and I'm mm. like, I don't want to turn up, like, after the, oh, yeah, can I get some chips? Oh, no, it's done, we're done, we're finished. Fuck all of that, bruv. I'd go to, I'd go to my local cinema. See whatever was on mm -hmm. at like ten o'clock, mm -hmm. ten thirty, mm -hmm. eleven. Nice little film starting at those times, yeah. and I'd go and watch it by myself. Do you want no snacks? Bottle of water, me in a film, or maybe like a diet sprite or something. Mm. And I was good to go, bruv. Missed those days. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. Like like I say, like at the first time, once I got I got that response, and then after I got into it, it was like a treat. Like it was nice. Do a bit of work in a day. Do you ever go, then, to, you know, you ever go restaurants by yourself? I've done it before. I've done it before. I've, I've been like away in other countries and I've been traveling around gigging and stuff like that. And it's just part <laughs> of it. When you do it in other countries, you feel like that guy in a film, innit? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you ever done that? Like, we're like, we're like, you'll be on holiday. You'll be but like by a restaurant by the beach, yeah? Mm. And you put your you put your sunglasses on. I think the only thing is missing, I don't smoke in it. Mm. But I think the only thing missing you from could me, just get one and hold it if you want yeah, it. You don't have you to know, light it. You know the only thing yeah. missing for me in that picture is you know me lighting up a cigar or a thing here and you're yeah. like, what the fuck's going on with my package? You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Where the fuck is my package, you fucking you fucking bum? I'm in Barcelona right now and I'm fucking waiting on it. But yeah, like you got a little what, like nice shirt. Shirt sure, popped breeze. open. One button more than you'd have yeah. in the UK. Because yeah. if you're in a warm climate, that other button one, is necessary. One. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like three buttons. Yeah. You basically, my you got your shirt, navel shirt. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just, I just do the button just yeah. above the navel. Just above the navel. Everything else is yeah. out, bro. Yeah, yeah. My chest is out for the world to see, bro. I'm on yeah. a holiday, bro. Yeah. You think I worked this hard for me not to show this chest mm, off, bro? Mm. It's like when people were getting at me last summer where I had the short shorts on. Remember when I had the short shorts on and I put it on Instagram? What hot pants were these? What were these? You saw it, bruv. I had these short shorts on, the red ones, when I was in Barcelona, yeah? Like, I was in front mm. of the Arc de Triomphe with like these short shorts on and people were like, oh, hoochie daddy shorts. I was like, yes, what is your problem, bruv? But you know what, okay, when you when you get, he's just throwing Coca-Cola over the studio, it's all right. Um, it, uh, it's all right, it's all right. Um, what we got is, um, we got a situation where you've actually got the best ever response. Because when you get your legs out, People are always going to say something, right? People yeah. are always going to say something, right? When you get your legs out. Now, there's, I would take that all day long because what you don't want to get is the classic, don't forget legs day, bro. Someone forgot legs Ooh. day. Yeah, no, are you sure you don't want to crop the bottom of that picture, mate? <laughs> Anyone like, fancy a KFC? You know like, them ones? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. yeah. I was thinking, yeah, I was yeah. like, do you, do you think I, I was squatting in the gym mm. all this time? Mm. To flip and hide my legs, bruv. Mm. You are getting the shortest of shorts that are humanly possible. 
So you're going like what a centimetre below a testicle popping out. That's where you're going. I think I was you're taking about it to the max. Here, bruv. You took it to the max. I was I was like halfway up the thigh, bruv. I was I was I looked like I played. Ladies, football. it was a solid t- seven look, inches that he said in it, and he yeah, seven look, inches down the leg, white I, girls. I looked like I looked like I was doing foot I looked like I played football in the eighties. Oh wow, and they were wearing them real tight ones, yeah, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you got legs like ours, bruv. We ain't got nothing to be shy about. Do you see legs. what I'm saying? Like, let them see the calves. I know it's a lot of people. They um will project their insecurities. So a lot of people that are like anti legs and anti feet. Really, it's because their own don't look that good. Also, ladies. Wow, ladies, listeners. All right. I just, just I'm very curious, right? You see, because you know, we know what guys are into, right? Well, what are the, like leave it in the comments whether like you're on Patreon or you're on um. The Patreon YouTube. comments are wild, by the way. Yeah. Anyway, if you're on it. YouTube yeah. or 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 whatever, just send us a tweet or an Insta DM on a Ain't Got a Clue page. What is the first thing you look at in a man? I'm very curious. Like, what is it that you see on a man and go? Ooh. Is it is it their face? Is it their shoulders? Is it their their bum? He just described all of my finest points. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kay. No, um, but is it their chest? Is it their arms? What is it? Because I know certain girls have like some really free. Like I, I, I saw some girls say like she liked the veins in a man's forearms. God, another one. Go on, Kay. Go on, Kay. <laughs> um, do you know what I find in my experience? Um, men, um, on the, the whole, is the, the are sugar. much more regressive and much more basic in what we like in people. And I've the things that I've heard. Um, actually, there was a friend that I remember from high school. She said she used to like Elephant Man at school. Like she's and I go why was Elephant he, Man? Yeah, Elephant Man. I was like, oh, he's got blonde hair. He's got mad garms. So he's got and she's like, I just love how how rago he is. Like and she would like go on about how she like she was attracted to like not rough round the edges guys, but she would like she oh that was what she said. She said if a guy like had a chipped tooth or a big gap in it, she says that's what does it for her. And I I've okay, got, but uh, she is an anomaly. Yeah, she is. But also, yeah. but also, because like I know guys that are into some weird stuff as well. Of, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like what what I'm getting at is that the is the the proudness of being interested in specific things. Like I've heard girls say they like broad shoulders. I've heard girls say they like like veins in necks. They've like seen a man's neck veins. Some girls just like guys with um, neck tattoos. That is yes. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> that, no, I'm joking. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're like, right. But, so like, whereas, so yeah, I, I commend someone being specific and proud of it. Like, cause I feel like it's it's better to be nuanced in what you like. Cause yeah. then your friends can be like, oh look, there you go. But what you yeah, ladies, please get in the comments and, and, and let us know. Yeah. What is it that go that makes you go, what mm. do you want K to show <laughs> All right, let's hook him up. What would you like no, to see? No, what do you want to see Marcus <laughs> doing? It? Like, is it a short short stick? Do you want to see Marcus go back to to Marcus Bronzy where he was dieting heavy? Nah, man. Photo nah. shoot, Marcus. Nah, 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 nah. They We're not going to do that. Oh me, me. go! Don't tempt <laughs> They're me. They're not ready, bro. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're no, not but ready. yeah, because I'm, I'm always curious. Because guys are like, yeah, bro, big butty, big chest, big big whatever. Like, you know what? It's um. It's, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I it's realize, not with men. We've not really. I, I don't think we've got much like nuance in that, and I no, don't no, respect no. that. I, I do. I have now, as I've got older, and I've realised what it is that makes me. I realised it this week. I had a PT session. Yeah, and you fancy PTs? <laughs> that's what I he's gonna go with. Uh, female PTs. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my. Oh, Why is that? Do you know what it is? There's something about seeing a woman lift weights. Mm. Uh, like you know, like you see a woman doing deadlifts or mm. squats, and like it's a heavy weight, and you're like, "Fucking hell!" It's not even like it, it, for me. It's like the determination, mm. the discipline. Do you know what I mean? I'm imagining a visual skit in my skit in my head where Kay's sitting down on a bench between sets, and he looks up and he sees a woman walk in, and she gets the dust between her hands and claps it in oh, slow motion. <laughs> no, you don't even need that. But you know when I see a girl with like the wraps. Yeah. Yeah, she's got the wraps. Yeah. She's got the wraps and then she puts yeah. it around the bar and then she's dead banging out deadlifts yeah. like 90 kg and you're and like... She, dro- she drops the bar on the floor and beats her chest. No, no, not the chest. Like, not the chest. Like, no, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she fucking no, no. kicks the floor. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, come on. I think a strong yeah. woman... Oh my God. Obviously, I'm not saying like they're roided up and like, yeah, oh, yeah, I am strong. But like, 
what, like you, you know what I'm talking about. I know bro. what you mean. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. physically, sh- physically strong people. I find Men- that attractive. I, th- I think they're mentally strong as well because in order to get a body like that, like working out to get strong and doing yeah. that sort of stuff, requires a level of mental discipline and determination, and and their qualities that I look for. Where I'm like, oh wow, like because mm. I don't know about you. I've been I've been saying this. I think we said it in the last episode where I look at like I look at somebody and go, well, how will you raise my kids? And that is. I, I want someone that's got that those qualities within them. That's anyway. good. I, I'm I'm attracted to people that are strong mentally as yeah, well. Like for yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not taking away from someone who is not feeling because it sounds like I'm going into fitting on people that are like not doing well mentally. But for me, the, what's really attractive? To the toxic masculinity podcast. Yeah, in general, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you ain't got confidence, fuck off. But um, I like it when somebody's got Naked, a presence when they come. Well, that's also very attractive. Yeah. But when they come in, when when you know that they are. When they, I don't. When they bring something to the table, when someone's confident within yes. their self and they radiate a confidence, so, that is yeah, one of the most attractive yeah. things to me. Now you've ribbed me for this as a joke before, and other people be like, yeah, whatever. But honestly, like I will say to people, men, women, however you identify, one of the most attractive things is a perfect level of confidence. Overconfidence, people find that unattractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough confidence. Most people don't find that attractive. Yeah. That perfect level of yeah, confidence. I'm not for that. I, 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 yeah, yeah, no. I, I thought, but you, you're into things like sensible shoes and that, bruv. I know that I've <laughs> never said those words. <laughs> But what I'm saying, Kate, I'm joking, is yeah. is the Wallaby is an all-purpose <laughs> shoe. Hmm? Marcus Marcus loves a girl mm-hmm. in sensible shoes. That's what I'm saying. And like like you know, um, uh, just just you know, at, all round somebody yes. that, that's prepared for of course for different of environments. Course. Because what's more important, <laughs> posture or good-looking feet? Hmm? And I say posture is the one. Yeah. Also, do you know how you know a woman really likes you? How? She says she likes you. No, 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 no. When she asks you what color nails she should get, or how her nails look. Really? Yes, bruv. Wow. And what when is your she answer asks to that? You an opinion on her nail color. Mm-hmm. You're in. Is that your is that your nugget that you're leaving? Yeah. That's when you could think about getting a ring. No, she, she she's on you. Okay. She likes you. Oh, is this before even anything happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going. What color should I get? Or like shows you examples of what she likes you, bruv. Really? 100% she likes you. Ladies does, that, does, that mean, get... does that mean that sex is imminent, maybe? if you're, if I, you're... I don't know about that, but like, ladies, like... A kiss. Back me up Do on this one. Do you think a kiss is coming oh, if the nails are done? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But ladies, get, like, back me up on this one. If like, if you like a guy, you're asking for his opinion on, on nail colour, innit? Wow. If the guy is smart, anyway. If he's not, oh, yeah, I think they both look good. And what's that's the, not the kind of guy you want in your life, innit? What would your answer be to nail colour? Does it depend on the person? It does. Okay. Because you could get a... So, like, you know, you've seen red suit certain people and on other people, you're like, what are you... Oh, no, baby, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. What you doing? But no, um, yeah, it just depends, innit? You can't what? give a stock answer, bro. And what's the male, what's the male equivalent? Of, uh, yeah, whatever is your favourite, baby. What's the male equivalent of asking what, what, what nails you should do? For a man, Ooh, mm. what is the we? Because you, you're not really asking somebody what your opinion is on a trim in it. Yeah, like what, what do you think, babe? Shall I get I, another sheep up or shall I? Yeah, I've been getting the same trim for a while. Mm. I'm not. I'm not taking into account. But th- to be fair though, I, I was thinking about growing my hair again, and really? then I put a poll out, and then I looked at all the people that said no, mm-hmm. and I looked at all the people that said yes, yeah, and all the people that said yes to growing my hair out were not people I was attracted to. <laughs> Wow, so you so use analytics. Yes. So I looked at the notes because sometimes you, it may be more in favour of the yes, mm. but you look at the people saying yes mm. and they're not your type, are they? Well, in this case, no for you, yeah, isn't so it? So then yeah. I went on the nose, but mm. then I, I don't even remember, but I think most people said no. But I was looking at the nose and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, <laughs> you really use your analytics Come in on, a man. sensible way. Oh, sh- speak- oh fucking- speaking of, of, of that, you reminded me of something, right? So, you remind me of a girl. Remember we had Dev on the show a few weeks ago? I do. Yeah, right. He was living his life in Trinidad after the episode. Exactly. And remember he spoke about gta 5 role there are playing these servers. role playing servers yes. where people go in and there's like the cities that are made YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah chippers on the youtube and we discuss what the future is going to be like or it's on the or instagram, instagram check it instagram, in there, yeah. yeah so k got this dm right i'm sorry dev got this dm my son met his now fiance three years ago on this as in on gta right <sighs> he's flown over to redacted because i'm going to try and make this a bit more anonymous a number of times since last march and they fell in love in real life. 
they have role play names that they now actually use day to day. So they use their day to day nicknames in real life. It freaks me out now as someone who met their husband in a pub in 1998. <laughs> so that's so there's people out there fully. Do you know what, though? People meeting people in real life is coming back. I'm here for it. That's making a comeback, you know, I'm here for it. Because at gigs now, I'm speaking to people. I'm like, oh, where'd you meet? And they're like, so and so. I met in this. And I'm like, wow. Gigs are back. I think gigs are a really nice way to meet someone because it's like not too clubby. It's like an event. You know, you have something in common as well. Like if you go to see an artist or whatever like that, you're you see, like, you oh see, shit. You, you see an like artist that. live show though. Yeah. There are very few artists that are actually good live. Um, oh, that's a shame that you've not seen many good live. I've no, seen no, loads of great no, artists right, live. The, the production I've is seen, amazing. I've seen yeah. loads of great artists live. But there are some people where you're like, just put the backing track on. man. <laughs> I think you're going. You're just, going in just, tough. Yeah, yeah. Just fling on the backing track, bro. There's some. You haven't been at a festival and been yeah. like, we could have done without you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some people. <laughs> you, you, you can go. There's some people that I'm like, I've seen live, and I'm like, I think it's some Majority artists, some artists that are on the come up, and I've been like, you know, there's an audience here. Yes. You know, there's people that you can talk to. Like, you don't. You're not too cool to say what's going on. London. <laughs> yeah. Let's have some communication. Shelbyville, how are we? Like, yeah, bro, yeah. Like, yeah. That's I, what Americans have on lock. I will I will say that. Like not, with not their, this new generation. With, with their conversation. Really? Oh, all these um new rappers that have made it in the last few years, yeah. Yeah. Check out their performances at the first festivals and stuff <sighs> that they do, bro. See, they're it rushing is it. Because America had that like college circuit, so you could go and smash but colleges. Nobody does we that need anymore. That here, nobody man. does that yeah, anymore. No. Yeah. Because even remember, um, a few years ago, yeah, you like I'm, I'm, I'm like you know you had like events in London called like I Love Live mm -hmm. and, and like you know there was a few others right um and you'd see artists that mm -hmm. would get signed in the next few years that were like doing that sort of circuit that doesn't exist anymore mm. people are just looking for a SoundCloud or a YouTube thing you know like and then like they blow and then they're like oh okay I'm fussed into the limelight mm -hmm. and then there you go mm. that's what happens. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, but people are meeting on these GTA servers and getting married. So wow, yes. there we are. So uh, you uh, know what? I was going to ask for your take on it. Where but can I'll... I get married? Is that is that? Because well, you mean look today we know about your legs. Yeah, <laughs> we learned about your legs. We've learned about, about your, ve your legs. veiny don't arms. Don't, no, no, no. Yeah. We learned about your veiny arms, not mine. You said that I was describing you. Never did <laughs> I say nothing. Hold on, yeah. And Marcus also... tries to portray me as this guy that's using this to. You, you Touch slightly enough. do it. Touch enough. Nah, Touch enough cause, much? No, nah, because you slightly you do it. You can see K Space. Well. YouTube gang, look at K Space you, you right now. This is, this is amazing. Just look at it. You you act like, oh, I'm the nonchalant sexy guy. <laughs> like, like you, you, you talk about your past as if, like, yeah, no, I was out here. I was doing things. Like, I'm a retired man now. I don't tell. Brother! We Kay. know you're good looking, in it. You've Kay, been trying what, it. What it is is on this on this podcast, you've portrayed yourself as, I haven't. as the no man, as the angry man. Yeah, uh, no, you, I am the angry man. You said no, I am the. Angry. <laughs> See what I mean? He's the no man. Yeah, K K uses actually. We were listening the other day. You use the word no a lot. You know, bro. We spoke about it last week. No, I am fucking all like. I've said angry. something to you like you know it's Tuesday, and you're like no, it's Tuesday, and I'm like yeah, that's what I just said, bro. I am. I am. I I have realized this is what makes me funny though. Is it? It is this pent up anger. Just do you know? Do you know? Do you know? The, do you know? The look around at people, yeah, yeah, and just think, what the fuck are you doing? Like, does that never come into all how the many times? Time? Like, all the time. Yes, but like, I'm a man, bruv, that goes. You do your job properly. I do my job properly, mm. and I just look around and go, what the fuck are you doing to so many people, bruv? And it and it vexates me on a daily basis. I, I don't even know and if that it, word and exists, just, and I'm down and for it. it. Just, Vexate. And it just yeah, I mean, it vexes me. It. I know. Vexate. It, Stay it, with it, that. Yeah. I like that. It just, oh my gosh, man. I just look at people and I'm like, what are you doing? But Kay, this is a safe space. And as as your counsellor for the last few years, as, as as your therapist for the last few years, I'm here to say, bro, let it out your system. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> give <laughs> me a, just said anyway. Yeah, <laughs> give this me is a, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I mean. Yeah, let's not get too vulnerable, <laughs> bro. What the fuck, man? We're, we've still got an image to betray, bro. I'm fine, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm cool. My image is... As, and I, I mean, look, Kay, you're the angry one, oh, isn't see, it? See, yeah, you're the mature one. Oh, sorry. This is, you've got your... <laughs> Kay, I never said those words, but if that's how you feel... You're, oh, you're the mature if that's one. How you, if that's you're how you feel, bro. You're the one with your life together. If that's how you feel, oh, bro. <laughs> fucking... It's all coming You're up. You're the one with your life together. Okay, well, it's all right for you sitting in the corner with all shit. All your shit worked out. You, yeah, you two motherfucking podcasters giving out your little advice, saying you ain't got a no, clue. No, no. Ah, I, that I, cute? I do not have anything worked out yet. Marcus is the one with I'm, everything worked I'm, out. I'm going to build on that, Kato, on a level. 
I've come to the realization that on the whole, no, you're perfect. No, no, no. On the whole, on the whole, he's trying to flip it on me. <laughs> no, on, the, everything on the whole, <laughs> on the whole, out. not at all. On the whole, people don't fucking know what's going on, and I don't mean just us saying we ain't got a clue. Older people, even even captains of industry, they know their shit, but they don't know the they whole don't even shit. Know that. They no don't one even knows know that. the whole shit. They don't even because I know I know people like that at the top of their game. Like government level top of the game, and and I've heard uh, I've heard quote, no I've heard quotes like them saying stuff like CK just said now nah again even though I didn't but they um, no they've, they've said stuff stuff like you know what we're just out here trying to do our best and get to the top of the tree, we're just trying to yeah. get to the top, and I think I think that's it, and I like I think that's one thing that everybody thinks is they worry and they like go to a therapist or a counselor or whatever because they think they've got the answers. Some people turn to religion, some people turn to other things as well, some people turn to just like meditation or whatever, but sometimes, most times. We don't actually know. We're all working it out. We don't. Don't get it twisted. And I think we should end it there. Thank you very there much. This has been another episode of Ain't Got a Clue. If you are watching or listening on whatever platform you're on, subscribe, please. Leave a comment. Tell a friend about it. Yeah. And let everybody know. Follow the Instagram page. And um, and, yeah. let, and let Kay know what you like about men. Because if that matches, who knows? We could have a patron marriage. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> However... Send some pictures in to I, the Instagram I, for no, K. No, 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 no. In fact, no, no, you can just bypass that. Send them straight to K. Are Don't you put them on Instagram. Blocked. Um, I do not like unsolicited nudes. This is not happening. Who said nudes? <laughs> I like it. I love it. That was clever. No, um, Look, no jiggly bum shots, please. No jiggly bum yeah, shots. Just do, do not send yourself naked to my inbox. Um... Uh, but yeah, like remember, Patre- bum shots. if you want more of us, we're we're we're, we're yeah. going to be on a Patreon. If you don't, just tell a friend about it. In it, like bye. Later. Yeah, thank you. Peace.